when we first got together for like the first easy eight years, I would always fail my patient's test with my wife. I would always fail. I would go into the, I would meditate on not losing my patience because historically I'm, I wasn't a patient person. It he was, was a, a New virtual... Yorker. So let's, let me interrupt. He was a New Yorker, yeah. born and raised in Brooklyn. And yeah. when I, you know, whenever I interact with a uh, New Yorker, they are, they could be sweet as pie, but they're aggressive people. Yeah, they know what they want. They don't city. have no type of, yeah. it's like, we don't have, zero we don't have tolerance for, for anything. We don't have zero time tolerance. For right. And so right. the patient's level is like, yeah, it was like, hurry up. What are you saying? Come on, get to the point. We, like got, we got things to do. We got things I'm to like, do. whoa, I like to, you know, slow talk. You know, right, I like right. to, you know. So. And, and you're doing it now. So I'm trying to get to my point. Anyway. My point is, my point is I didn't have patience. I'm, I have, I have tremendous patience now to the point that the Bible says out of the mouth of two or three things established for the last easily 15 years, easily, people would just be like, you're so patient. You're so patient. But, Strangers and, but remember, and, and so remember. and so. No, I'm not talking about okay. in the relationship not, versus out. Okay. Because out, I, I mentioned that in the beginning that we can have patience with our coworkers, our boss, but the person closest to us, we don't no, have patience. No, with, you so. will even admit that my patience level okay, has improved. Absolutely. So I'm not Absolutely. just saying, no. I'm just saying in mm -hmm. general, uh -huh. I failed the patient's performance test on a regular basis. And, and what I'm saying is, yeah. If I can be patient enough to finish my point, okay. my point is I would go in with a conscious incompetence, meaning I was aware I was always failing to, to show you the patience mm -hmm. I felt you deserve. Mm -hmm. So when we would have a conversation, I would go in and as she's speaking, I'll say, okay, okay, Benny, now here's the part. This is where you stay calm, stay calm, stay patient. Don't, don't react. Da, da, da. And then four seconds later, I'm reacting. I'm anything but calm. Mm -hmm. And, and then I walk away going, how did I fail again to I be patient, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And I would kick myself over and over like, well, if I can perform these other, you know, areas, well, why can't I? And I just kept grinding at patience. So for me, mm -hmm. it didn't happen overnight. Mm -hmm. Um, while you can recognize it has improved and it has improved tremendously and others can recognize. And if any of y'all ever met me from New York growing, you know, through the years <laughs> in, in Brooklyn, and then you actually interacted and, and spent time around me. Now you say, man, you really are more patient than mm -hmm. you used to be. Mm -hmm. So, so I understand the help that that's needed. Um, so we're going to talk about different things, ways that we've we've helped ourselves mm -hmm. and, and ways that we know can help you help you. Yeah. Definitely.